Hello, good evening. How are you? Not bad, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Hello. good evening. Good evening. Hello, thank you for being here. Okay. Well, okay. I am I am with flu. I don't feel very well. My you are with my... flu symptoms? Yes, flu. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I saw a picture that you uploaded today to the group. Yeah. <laughs> what, were you doing? Hey, what were you doing there? It's part of my of my assignment every day. Feed that uh, lambs. I feed yeah. the lambs. It was a lamb, right? Yes, it's a lamb. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is true. So you have to feed them, all of them. Yes, uh, the the cows and the 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 los becerros. How how can I say? Los hijos de las vacas. Los becerros. Let me see. Becerros. Sí, los hijos de los chivos. Decimos nosotros. Los chivos. Terneros. Uh -huh. Cubs. Cow. Cubs. Little cow. Yeah. Little cow. Uh -huh. Cubs, yes. <clears throat> okay. okay. Yeah, it is really interesting that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am very busy here. Very busy the whole day, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So <coughs> right now... Uh, we are going just to review a little bit of English because tomorrow um, we will have like the last class for this week, right? For this week. So I don't know if you have any questions about the platform. Uh, yesterday we solved some of the problems. If you have any question about it, just let me know and um, I will help you, right? Yesterday, we were talking about different tenses, right? The present perfect tense and also the simple past, right? How we combine these things, right? Uh, do you remember how we can use it? Like in which situations can we use the present perfect or the simple past? You remember what is the, the difference, the main difference between them? Uh, we try to be specific or not mm -hmm. specific. Exactly. With present perfect, uh, we don't have like a specific time. Like the time reference is not very specific, right? It's something that happened and probably uh, is still relevant nowadays or it's something that hasn't finished yet, right? And simple pass is something that probably already finished or we can provide a specific time also, right? Very good, perfect. So that's the thing that we were studying last uh, last class. Um, I don't remember if I shared this information with you. Did I share it with you? I guess I, I just shared. Yes. I yes. just shared the, yes, I shared last week's, right? Week one, okay. Tomorrow I will share this presentation, so no worries. And in this case, we are going to study present perfect versus present per perfect continuous, right? So this, this will be the lesson objective for today. At the end of this class, participants will be using present perfect and present perfect continuous. So this is the information that you can find in the platform. If you already watched the videos, you uh, will read this um, information already. So for example, it says, Use the present perfect continuous to describe temporary situations and actions that are not yet completed. So as you can see, it says uh, things that hasn't been completed yet. The present perfect describes permanent situations and recently completed actions. For example, a dog has been stealing all the attention it's a temporary situation, right? I've always served with my dog. Permanent situation. So we use present perfect. Maggie has been amazing uh, visitors by painting for her supper. Not yet completed action, right? And I've locked my keys in the car. Recently completed action. Use the present perfect with passive or with stative verbs such as be, love, have. 
So we can use uh, the present perfect with stative verbs. We are going to study what uh, stative verbs are later. For example, he's always loved it. So this is the present perfect, right? This is the information in the platform. It says to talk about things where there is a connection between the past and the future, present perfect. He has studied writing books at some time in the past. So far, he has written 16 books. He may write more books. So an action that has been completed at some point in the past, but there is a result in the present. So it's still relevant, right? It's still relevant. I painted the living room blue. I have been decorating the house this summer. So I have painted the living room blue. Focus on the result. The activity is finished and we can see the result now. And I have been decorating the house this summer. They focus in on the action, the creating, and the action is unfinished. So that is the difference between the present perfect and present perfect continuous. One is finished and one, the other one is unfinished. It says we use the present perfect continuous when the fo we focus on an activity that is unfinished. You, you, uh, sorry, I have read that book you lent me. I finished it yesterday, right? So the present perfect, the idea is, uh, gives the idea of completion. I've been reading the book you lent me. I've got another 50 pages to read, right? So it's something that is unfinished. It says we can use the present perfect to talk about how long we, when we view something as permanent and the present perfect continuous is often used to show that something is temporary. So do you have questions about this? Preguntas? Questions? Uh, the last, well, the last class, we mm -hmm. were talking about the present perfect or the past perfect and the, and the simple past. The last <laughs> class we were, yeah, very good question because it's confusing yet. Yeah. Last class we were talking about present perfect and simple past, right? Mm -hmm. El presente perfecto y el pasado simple. Eso lo vimos ayer. Ahora, today, is present perfect versus present perfect continuous. Okay. Thanks. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. It's kind of confusing. It is true. It is true. So, uh, questions about this, about the difference, about the structure, preguntas? Because we are going to use it today. We are going, we can use both actually. We are going to do this activity. So we are going to have uh, these questions. We are going to ask these questions to our classmates. And then we are going to provide that information in the class. So we can use also present perfect, simple past. We are going to be using present perfect and present perfect continuous also. So um, I just know, I just need to know if you have questions about this, like the difference or how to use it, or if you need to review the structure also, I do not know. In the present perfect, the auxiliary is had. In the present perfect continuum is have been. Exactly, have plus been plus the verb in ing. Exactly. Perfect. Yes, exactly. We are going to read a little bit more. And also we are going to use these tenses, these words, right? For and since. Do you do you know the meaning of for and since? Since is desde. Desde. Uh -huh. I think that is para. Yes, para. Exactly. Uh, and also por. Also, right? It depends, right? Since desde. Exactly. So, Rosa Maria, why don't you read uh, the first, I don't know if you're able to read this. It says present perfect plus four since present perfect continuous. So we are going to read just the the, the examples, the, the white table. They have known each other for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Junior has had 
that back since since she was in college. Mm -hmm. How long have you worked here? Since nineteen ninety six. How long has your brother had his motorcycle? Mm -hmm. For about a year. Very a year. good. Perfect. Perfect. So it says they've known each other for 10 years, right? Se han conocido, that They've known each other for 10 years. Julia has had that bag since she was in college. So, so for 10 years, por 10 años, right? Julia has had that bag since she was in college, desde que estaba en el college, ¿verdad? How long have you worked, right? That is a present perfect, right? Since 1996, that's the right. How long has your brother had his motorcycle? For about a year, por un año, más o menos, for about a year. So, as you can see, since, as Rosa Maria said, is desde. And for es por, ¿verdad? Por, por cinco años, por diez años, uh, for ten years, right? For about a year, por un año, más o menos. For about es como más o menos, right? Aproximadamente, I don't know exactly the time. So it's for about a year. Very good. Let's see. Um, Rafael, it's nice to see you again. Uh, you were kind of sick yesterday? Yeah, but I'm sick, so. You're still so. sick? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Okay. No problem. Very good. So, uh, we are going to read. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know. Okay. Uh, we are going to read. I don't know if you can help me, but if you're sick, we can choose someone else, Rafael. Um, uh, read the next. Yes, just okay. the, the rules. These are the rules, right? Exactly. Okay. We use the person perfect class for our things with uh, non-action non -action. verbs. Mm -hmm. uh, like, have, now, etc. To talk about something that started in the past and is still true now. Mm -hmm. They know each other for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, they met 10 years ago and they still know each other the other today. Mm -hmm. We use how long plus present perfect to ask, ask about an um, unfinished period of time from the past until now. Mm -hmm. We use for plus a period of time for two weeks or things plus a point of time. Science 1990. Mm -hmm. Don't use the simple person with for since not they know each other for a long time. Very good. Thank you, Rafael. So as you can see, these are some rules with for or since, right? So for or since we can use it with non-action verbs like have known, right? These are non-action verbs. Um also uh, for right, fourteen years that something that had happened like ten years ago and is still available to ask. We can use for how long, or we can use only how long. It's okay, and it says at the end, don't use the simple present with for and since. Right, they know each other for a long time. No, they probably. Tal vez en las conversaciones ustedes lo escuchen como they've known, right? They've known, but está contractado, ¿verdad? Es una contracción, they've known. So, es el presente perfecto. So, don't get confused. Perfect. Now, this is the present perfect continuous, right? Esta es la estructura. As you can see, is have or has, depending if it is uh, he or she or I or they, right? Depending on the pronoun. Plus being plus verb, plus ing. And these are uh, some examples. How long have you been learning English? Nick has been working here since April. They've been going out together for about three years. 
your eyes are red. Have you been crying? No, I've been cutting onions. So, as you can see, this is the way that we can use the present perfect continuous. But when do we use it, right? Uh, now that we know the structure, when do we use it? How do we use it? Now we have here the rules, right? Some information here. Let's see. Eliu, can you read the rules, please? Yes. Number one, we use the present perfect continuous with for with for and fifth with action verbs. Mm -hmm. E.g., learned, work, go, uh, etc. To talk about action that start in the past and are still true now. Don't use the present continuous with for, since not. We can also use the present perfect continuous for continuous or repeated action that have been happening very recently. This, the actions have usually just finished. Very I, good. Yeah, go ahead. I have, I've, I have, you, you have, he, she, it, he has, we've, we have, they've, they have been working here for two years. Mm -hmm. I haven't, I have not, you haven't, she, he, she, it hasn't. We haven't, they haven't been working here for two years. Mm -hmm. Have been working here for two years? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Has she been working here for two years? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Work and live. Mm -hmm. Work and live are often used use the in either present perfect or present perfect continuous with the same meaning. I've lived here since 90, 1980. I've been living here since 1980. Thank you very much, Elio. I know it's a lot of information, but actually, basically, this is how we use the present perfect continuous. And rule number one, it says that we can use it with action verbs, right? Action verbs are movement, right? Learn, work, go. So those are action verbs, movement, right? So talk about actions that started in the past and are still true now. So uh, we're still doing it, right? We're still doing it. And number two, we can use the present perfect continuous for a repeated action, something that's been happening recently. For example, I've been studying English. So it means that I am still studying English, right? I've been studying English for 10 months. Okay, so I'm still studying English, but I studied 10 months ago, right? Hace 10 meses que empecé, pero todavía lo estoy haciendo. So it's an action that's being continuous. In here in this uh, table, we can see how we can form the affirmative way, right? With all of the pronouns. And you can see that have and has changes according to the pronouns, right? Being working doesn't change. Eso no cambia. It doesn't matter the pronoun. It doesn't matter. So it will be being all the time and the verb in ing, right? And then the complement. And below we have the negative form, right? I haven't, I have not, or she hasn't, right? It depends in, uh, on the pronoun. She hasn't been working here for two years. So it doesn't matter if it is in negative, it doesn't change, right? Being and the verb with ing. And we have questions here. Have you been working? Has she been working? So it changes, right? Depending on the pronoun. And we have the answers here. How can we answer? Yes, I have, right? No, I haven't. Yes, she has. No, she hasn't, right? So those would be the three ways, affirmative, negative questions and at the end we can see that it says that with the verb work and live it doesn't change uh, it doesn't change the meaning right it's the same if i say i've lived here since 1980 and i've been living here since 1980 um 
algunos autores que estudian la gramática dicen que sí tiene diferencia porque es eh, eh, denuncia permanencia, el I have lived here y el otro no, pero uh, nosotros lo vamos a entender así que no hay ninguna de una diferencia si yo digo I've lived here since 1980 or I've been living here since 1980, right? Vamos a tomarlo así, como que no hay ninguna diferencia, porque se puede usar de las dos maneras. Pero algunos autores de la gramática, pues dicen que sí. So. But that's, that's another topic, right? So this is the present perfect continuous. Uh, do you have any question about this? Uh, uh, respecto eh, a lo que acaba de decir, pero ese solamente en, eh, en este caso, I, I believe here since. Uh, or uh, yes, I... Or, or work. Uh -huh. I work. I've worked here since 1980, or I've been working here since 1980. It's the same. I have a question. Yes, Rosa Maria. In the answer, yes, I have. We can say, yes, I. Um, when it's a short question like this, no, only yes, I have right? Or no, I haven't. Um, if it is a long answer, for example, we can say, yes, yes, I have. I've been working here for two years, or I've been studying English, right? There, we can use the contraction. Okay. Very good question. Okay, very good. Let's see, next one. Oh, I think it is only the present perfect continuous but i think that present perfect you don't have any question right the present perfect is for something that happened uh, before and already finished and it's still relevant and the only problem with the present perfect will be the past participles right you need to know the past participles to to use the present perfect so we have uh, here a information some exercises just in case and then we are going to practice okay It says, correct the mistakes. Vamos a corregir los errores. You will be the teachers now. For example, this is an example, right? Harry is unemployed since last year. No, that is incorrect, right? Harry has been unemployed since last year. Very good. Number one, we've had our new apartment Since six months, what is the mistake? We've had our new apartment since six months. We have been. We have been? There is one word, only one word that is wrong there. It's much said for six months. Exactly, four, right? The rest is correct. We've had our new apartment since six months. No, desde, desde hace six, no, for six months, for six meses, right? For six months, very good. Number two, hi, Jackie, how are you? I don't see you for ages. What is the mistake there? I have not saw uh -huh. you. I haven't. Uh -huh. I haven't. And what is the past participle of seen? Of seen. Seen. seen? You. Six, six, you. I haven't seen you for ages, right? I don't see you for ages. No, no te veo por años. No, right? No te he visto, right? No te he visto por años, right? Very good. So Number, is I haven't. I seen haven't you. seen you. Seen you okay. exactly. I haven't seen you for ages. Three. How long are you knowing your husband? How long are you knowing your husband? How long has been you knowing? How long have has <laughs> have you have you how long uh -huh. had you Have you known your husband? How long have you, have you been have you knowing, been knowing your, your husband? husband? Okay, very good. Let's go back a little bit. 
it says present perfect, right? Present perfect. Uh, where is it? Here, 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 here. It says here in, in the rules, right? Rule number one, we use the present perfect for or since with non-actions verbs like, uh, like, right? Have and no. No is a non-action verb. So why do we use the present perfect, right? Perfect. So in number three okay. is how long are you? How long have you? What is the past participle no of no? No one. None. None. Exactly. None. How long have you known your husband? We are going to see the results or actually the answers in a moment, okay? No problem. No la vamos a tener en la mente. Ya la vamos a ver las respuestas. And number four. Emily has been a volunteer for 10 years ago. What is the mistake? Since? Since? Yes, right. Since Emily has been a volunteer uh, since 14 years, 14 years, right? 14 years. No ago. Ahí no le ponemos ago. 14 years. Ahí no le ponemos ago. 14 years ago, no. It's incorrect. Number five. Paul doesn't eat anything since yesterday because he's sick. Maybe has not been eating. Very good. Paul hasn't been eating. No está, Paul no ha estado comiendo desde ayer. It's, it's the same in English and in Spanish, right? Paul hasn't been eating anything since yesterday because he's sick, right? So we can use the present perfect continuous. Perfect. Six. It hasn't rained since two months. Four. 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 Very good. It hasn't rained for two months. Very good. Seven. How long has your parents been married? Have been. How long have your parents have, have. been? Exactly. Yeah. Your parents is they, right? So they is not has, right? They has? No, they have, right? So how long have your parents been married? Very good. Eight, they're having their dog since they got married. They have been having. Having. Uh -huh. they, have, they have been having. Okay, let's been go having. back. <laughs> let's go back again. Okay, have. Have is a non-action verb, right? Pero have de tener, ¿verdad? So in this case is they since they have they have seen they have had their dog since they got married, right? They have had. Ellos han tenido a ese perro desde que se casaron, ¿verdad? Todavía lo siguen teniendo, pero desde ahí, ¿verdad? Very good. Number nine. I haven't gotten any emails from my brother for last winter. Since. 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 Very good. I haven't gotten any emails from my brother since last winter. Very good. And the last one. My grandmother lives in the same house all her life. This is easy. Has been living. Has been living. Very good. My grandmother has been living in the same house or all her life. Can I use or can I say my grand my grandmother has lived instead of has been living? Can I use the present perfect instead of the present perfect continuous? Yes, because it belongs to the two verbs. That is a real. Exactly. 
it belongs to this rule, right? Work and live, and it's the same meaning. So we can see here um, the responses, right? We've had our new apartment for six months. Hi, Jackie, how are you? I haven't seen you for ages, right? How long have you known your husband? Emily has been a volunteer for 10, 10 years or so ago. No, right. Paul hasn't eaten anything since yesterday. And here, hasn't eaten or hasn't, hasn't been eating. It's okay. I will accept both. It hasn't rained for two months. How long have you parents been married? They've had their dog since they got married. And I haven't gotten any emails from my brother since last winter. And my grandmother has lived in the same house or has been living in the same house. Very good. Perfect. So do you have any questions about this? Okay, it's 8.33. Uh, we were going to do this one, but I think that we are going to, to do this exercise, okay? Because I just need you to practice because um, more grammar um, will be repeating the same thing all over again. But I want you to practice just to, to check if we have understood and also try to use yeah. these tenses, okay? And I still haven't got home. I'm sorry. Okay. It seems that some people are having problems. Okay, let me see here. Okay, now we are going to practice this exercise. You see, speaking. So you are going to ask these questions to your classmate. Um, I don't know, is everybody able to use their microphones? ¿Todos pueden usar su micrófono? Yes, no? Oh, yeah, hay alguien que no pueda. Tenemos, we are, let me see here. We are 18. So let's see. Uh, what you are going to do is just to uh, use these questions. For example, have you ever, have you ever bought or sold something on eBay or a similar site? And then you are going to write the answer, right? Have you ever lost a credit card or your wallet? Yes, I have. No, I have never, right? I have never done that. You can add more information if you want to with simple past or uh, present perfect continuous, right? You can add more information. Have you ever saved something for a long time? Have you ever wasted money on something you've never used? I have, <laughs> I have, I have uh, books there that I have never read. And yeah, that's something that I've never used, but. I think that probably in the future I will read them. Have you ever won any money or a lottery, for example, any prize in a raffle, for example? Have you ever lent money to someone who didn't pay you back? Or have you ever bought something online and then discovered that it was a scam? Scam? What is the meaning of scam? Do you know? Estafa, right? Estafa was a scam that you bought something and they never send it to you. Or have you been charged too much in a restaurant or the opposite, right? That you haven't charged the complete bill. So I will send right now this information to the WhatsApp group. Lo voy a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp para que ustedes lo vean y tengan la información. You will have the information there. And you can practice this conversation with your classmates. Okay. Okay, I send the image right now. And we're going to create the groups because I need you to practice these tenses just to make sure that you have understood everything. Let's see.
Let's see. Okay. Uh, Maria Susana, are you able to use your, mi your microphone? Yes, teacher. And Mercy Jamileth, are you able to use your microphone? Yes. Okay, so Mercy, you will work with Maria Susana. And Claudia, are you able to use your microphone? Yes. Claudia, Marcela, yes. Okay, so you're going to work with Eliu. And remember, you just need to answer these questions and write the information down, okay? Write the answer. So we are going to open right now the, the I'm driving home teacher. Okay, Porfirio, no, no problem. Because uh, Porfirio is in the group of Rafael, Antonio, and Rosa Maria. So I guess that uh, they will be able to, to talk between them. Okay, no problem. So I just wanted to make sure for those groups. So you will have around 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutos, 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, we are going to come back. And I will be checking your rooms in case that you have any questions. Okay, you can join right now. Hello, Jose Francisco, can you hear me? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, um, have you ever uh, read uh, an interesting book? I haven't. Mm, in my case, I don't like much re reading a book. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I prefer to see, okay. see the video okay. or listening audio. Okay. Okay, my turn. Have you ever lost a credit card or your wallet? No, I haven't. But uh how did how how do you say man robado <laughs> i don't know Ana maria oh. you know hello no yes. to be honest no um well solo me la han robado me la he perdido ah okay okay Pero podemos preguntarle eso al teacher. Está interesante la pregunta para, okay. para uh, yeah, what saber is the cómo question? Se... <laughs> Me han robado. Uh, sí. How how do you how do you say the, the question in Spanish? Have you ever lost a credit card or your wallet? Uh, yes, have you ever lost that? That's correct, but a loss is perdido, right? Yes, but when somebody um, me la uh huh, 
como alguna vez te han robado. Have you no, ever... no. Uh, 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 ella me pregunta si la he perdido. Ajá. Yo le digo que no, pero sí que me la han robado. <risa> ok, so yes, my wallet has been stolen, right? Stolen. Like, have you ever had your wallet stolen? Yes. Mm, so, that's oh, right. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, really you. good. Uh, Ana Maria, uh, have, you, have you ever uh, have you ever been married? Got married? Yes. To be honest, I am married at this moment. So I have been married for four years. Okay. For something for a long time. Hey, repeat, please. I don't. I don't clear the song for me. Mm. Mm. Let me see. What when? When you speak in, in English corporativo for the me message. Cuando me estabas preguntando, entró el mensaje de que se estaba oh, la grabación okay. en progreso. Ok. Say, have you ever saved for something for a long time? For a long time? Save no, for something. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sometime. Okay, okay. So about something online and then the scope of the scope. Do you have the screenshot for the classroom? The answers. Uh -huh. the, the, the question. Uh -huh. Uno, mm. no, el, digamos, la imagen que estábamos viendo no tenía respuestas. In no because but the imagine is in the group or WhatsApp. Uh -huh. In the group. Uh, okay, the okay, answer, okay. uh -huh, the answer uh, beginning okay. uh -huh. in the WhatsApp. Yes. I see the WhatsApp. What's a group? Okay. Okay. Uh, there are five questions in description of the what's up mm -hmm. for example have you ever been chairs too much in a restaurant when you pay in a restaurant, have you ever have you ever been changed too much in a restaurant? For example, mm, I was I was I pay in effective. Mm -hmm. O sea, la pregunta dice que si alguna vez pagaste mucho en un restaurante. O sea, ¿cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Y es... Eh, eh, como, como decirte, en una ocasión pagué por un plato que, que supuestamente valía como 35 dólares, que era una langosta, y eso fue el peor pedido que yo he podido hacer porque no resultó ser, bueno, si sí eran langostas, pero eran chiquititas y las cosas esas eran más eran menos langostas que cualquier otra cosa entonces te, me tocó pedir otra cosa para decir que te ibas a, a, a cómo satisfacer el hambre que tenía ¿no? entonces okay, sí okay. un almuerzo de 70 dólares digamos eso sí me salió carísimo ok Hello. 
how did you finish? Did you complete the, the answers, like the questions? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay, all of them. Yes. Did you write the answer? Some ones. <laughs> some, some of them. Okay, very good. So we are going to go back in a couple of minutes, okay? No problem. Okay. Okay. With, with, with Sorry, you, you, there was a song I couldn't understand. Hear you too much. Uh, you said that your son bought some clothes, right? Yes. Uh, okay, and it was not the same. No. Oh, it was yeah. we see and the what? it wasn't uh, the same. Okay. Uh, um, so it, it it was like uh, I don't know how to say it, but it like the image. Yes. That he saw. It wasn't okay. the same. Okay. And the last one, have you ever been chartered too much in a restaurant? Uh, my case, no. No, because I always ask for the bill before paying and I, I check all the things that I have eaten. <laughs> okay. And you? Uh, um, in my... I told I told to the Okay, he told me he told he told me with with brilliant eyes. Hey, this this ticket has has won seventeen thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I don't believe you. I said no. Go 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 and, and claim. <laughs> and it was true. It was true. Wow. But, have you ever lent money to someone who didn't pay your back? No, no, I haven't lent money because I don't have money. No, I haven't. And you, have you ever lent money to someone who didn't pay you back? Yes, many persons, many. I have lent money uh, to to classmates, to fellow students, classmates, mm -hmm. and... Uh, some people that work for me in in, the, in my in my ranch in my cattle ranch mm -hmm. and they never come to work they Ooh. they ne they never come to to pay me they never they they disappear <laughs> yes. and have uh, you ever <laughs> have you have you ever bought something online and then discovered that it was a scam? Hmm. Thanks God, no. I haven't bought anything online and then I discovered that it was a scam, thanks God. I just bought some, maybe the product doesn't uh, was uh, worked very well, but I know it at the beginning. So I don't have bad experience on that. And you have you ever bought something online and then discovered that you were it was a scam? Um, actually, I bought. Uh, I have bought. Uh,
Okay, welcome back. Okay, we are going to share right now the responses that we had for these questions. Let's me see, let me see here. So, I've heard that you were practicing very good in English. You were answering just one group was asking where where, where they were talking in Spanish, right? They were talking like about some some dishes, right? Expensive dishes that they had paid. Like how? What is the meaning? Like what is the langostas, right? Lobster. So lobster, langosta, right? Very good. So, but most of you were were talking in in English. That's good. I didn't know if somebody wants to wants to share the responses. Any volunteer? Voluntarios? Well, I remember uh -huh. that Eliu Paul. To uh, Rosa Maria and me, that he has never lost his wallet, mm -hmm. but he had stolen. Eliu got like the, the he was like somebody stole his wallet. Yes. And he lost money there in the documents. I didn't ask. <laughs> okay and that was long time of course ago? yes of course right and that happened long time ago or recently many times I many forgot. times yeah i i have but mala suerte how do you say mala suerte bad luck i i have bad luck to to <laughs> rateros <laughs> and this is my my bad look. Okay. Okay. Yes. Actually, in El Salvador, we have a lot of, uh, how do you say that, like pickpockets, like people, like thieves, right, or pickpocketers, like um, they uh stole a lot of things, right? This the, the actually that's that's really bad. I I have suffered also bad luck as you, Rafael, uh, but sometimes it's it's scarier than other times. But yes, it's, it's it's not good. Let's see who else. Who else uh, wants to share the answers? Okay, me, teacher. Okay, Elio, go ahead. I was talking with Claudia. Mm -hmm. um, Claudia asked me if I if I have ever if I have ever won any money in a lottery. Mm -hmm. And I <clears throat> was talking, and I was telling her that I have won. I have won uh, in a ticket thousand thousand uh, eight uh, seventeen thousand dollars in a ticket mm -hmm. that is is worth a a big uh, a thousand that I have won. I have oh. won. Yes, and that was for real. Real? Yes, I didn't know. I didn't know that the my ticket was a premium, oh. and and I had to buy two month with my in the ticket in my wallet. Oh, wow! <laughs> and on and Sunday, then I, I was in a restaurant. Uh -huh. I was uh, traveling to the airport, and was in the Camercita restaurant in Oloquilta, uh -huh. and the seller the 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 seller lottery seller. Uh, one asked me to buy a game and mm -hmm. I told him I have never won something in, in, in lottery but I, I would like to check this this ticket check me please this ticket mm -hmm. and he checked and he saw me with a brilliant eye and she told me surprise surprising ah this ticket is won Seventeen thousand dollars. I don't believe you. This is, is is it true? Yes, it's true. Go to claim for this, and and I went. Wow. And it was true. Yes, it was true. It was wow. true. Wow. Yes. So you have good luck. Yeah. You okay? Very yeah. good. <laughs> so <laughs> some of us that we got stolen, and Leo win seventeen thousand dollars. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Very good look. Okay. I, I bought amazing. I bought cake for my. My fellows in the in the my work, I mm -hmm. I I share with with the people, 
and it uh, was it was it's something that I was needing to send my 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 son to Germany to study to Germany. It's okay. permit me to send him to Germany. Mm -hmm. Okay, so wow. you uh, you you spend the money in your in your in your son, and also did you save some of your money? Mm -hmm. Yep, I need that money for send him <clears throat> to to Germany to be, to study in your, at the university. You need it, and, and you, you didn't know how to do it. Yes, I didn't know how. I I, I was I was worried because he was an excellent student mm -hmm. in Garcia Flamenco. In and he, uh, he was 18 years old and he speak English fluently and he speak German mm -hmm. fluently two language, and I was concerned about how to to get the money. I was praying to God, and it was an answer that I received for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good story. You see, very good, <laughs> amazing of <laughs> yeah. you, very good. Yes, very good. yes. Good Let's... luck. Good luck, exactly. Very God good. God loves you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, love I had one at least one dollar. <laughs> only one, only one dollar. Yes, exactly. Or maybe in a raffle, like a blender, una licuadora, things like that, right? Normal things. Very good. So tomorrow we are going to review this topic. I know that you have practiced a lot. Probably you have a lot of questions yet, but um. You still have a lot of questions, but uh, we're going to check it tomorrow if you still have questions. And remember to finish section two, right? Because tomorrow it will be the last class for this week. Uh, I don't know if you have any other question right now. Preguntas? No questions? Okay, so remember, I will share this information with you tomorrow, all of this presentation. And uh, uh, if you have questions, uh, write on the WhatsApp group, okay? Have a nice evening, and I will see you tomorrow at 8. Thank you for being here. Good evening. See you. Good evening. Good story. Okay, see you. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.